Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the Nine Any Know It All podcast. I'm your host, Josh, the Nine Any Know It All, and this one is going to be a a year in review. And it's been it's been an interesting year in review for me to kind of go through and, and process it. Um, if you guys have followed Nine Any Know It All for a while, you know that uh, I am from the Northwest, from uh, Washington State, lived in Oregon State for a little while, but. The last year uh, plus, about the last 14 months, I've actually been in North Dakota. My wife and I and our daughters moved to North Dakota uh, in November of 2021. So the 2022 year in terms of baseball coverage and photography and podcast has been a different one than what I kind of expected. And so... Um, I want to talk a little bit through that, kind of talk about things that have happened, things that I'm seeing, things I'm doing, things I'm not doing, uh, just to kind of put it out there. And so this is actually going to be uh, not just a not any know-it-all focused episode. It'll be Northwest Baseball Report and a Great Plains Baseball Report episode as well. So um, excited to kind of talk about different things like that. And um, first of all, let's just jump right into it. I did not cover a lot of baseball in 2022. I just did not. Uh, part of that was, one, moving to North Dakota and trying to learn the area, trying to learn where places are, where teams are. Uh, I do have a junior college here in Bismarck. The, the college I work at has a baseball team. Got to cover them once, I think twice, maybe in, in the springtime. Uh, there is another college, University of Mary, here in uh, in Bismarck by only got out to a few innings of one of their games. That's about it. Um, and then I kind of went to a few other places. I did go to Dickinson. I did go to Jamestown. But that was about it. I didn't go much else to different things. And so this this summer, and spring and summer, um, I didn't cover very many games. Now, also, a part of the reason why I didn't cover games is because every game that I was going to cover got iced out or rained out or snowed out. Um, and I just, you know, can't go watch games when there are no games to watch. So it was a it was a transition for me that was more difficult than I expected. I really came into North Dakota. You know, first of all, I wasn't even sure there was baseball here at first until I really got here and started doing some research and seeing what was going on. But as I got here, I had on my calendar to really cover some things. And once again, weather kicked in not knowing exactly where to go, not having the connections and relationship with coaches and players that I have come accustomed to when I was in the Northwest really kind of affected how I, you know, approach things here. And after a spring in which I only got to cover, I think, four or five games, I was pretty frustrated. Uh, I was pretty frustrated. Um, you throw on top of that the fact that Major League Baseball has been one of my least favorite things the last few years. I have not enjoyed Major League Baseball. In fact, this year I didn't watch really any Major League Baseball. I didn't watch the World Series. I didn't watch the playoffs. I think I watched maybe a couple innings throughout the summer of, of, of Major League Baseball, and that was it. Um, so I really kind of was turned off from baseball this year. I didn't go watch any games this summer. Now, that doesn't mean I wasn't around baseball and softball. My oldest daughter played travel ball, softball. I, I was one of the coaches. So that took up a lot of my time as well, which was fun. Enjoyed that. Uh, I have gotten out and covered a number of different things with the Bismarck State College softball team. So I was out doing stuff. And it was one of those things where I just wasn't sure where I wanted to go with things. So essentially this podcast got put on hold. Uh, I don't, I don't think I've done one since April. And, you know, a part of that was transitioning. I was trying to figure out how I fit into baseball coverage in the great plains. Now let's, let's be honest. There isn't baseball coverage in the great plains for the most part. There is, a little bit here and there. Some newspapers do kind of cover things, but there really isn't coverage in this area. And that's not uncommon because let's be honest, also in the Northwest, there isn't much coverage there either. 
you know, newspapers aren't covering teams unless there's like a championship. There isn't a lot of Northwest focused um, sites or things like that. There, now there have been one or two that have popped up uh, since I moved to, to North Dakota, um, but they're very specific. Like they're either entirely high school focused or different things like that. They're, they're not as broad as what I've done in, in the last couple of years. And so, um, you know, it's just one of those things where once again, I'm trying to figure out where I sit in this region and how I'm going to be accepted. Now I will say the coaches that I've talked with, the coaches that I've interacted with here in the great plains region, um, have been amazing. They have been welcoming. They have literally just opened up their field to me and said, come do what you do. And I appreciate that. And I am grateful that even though I don't have that long-term relationship and reputation that I had with the teams in the Northwest, they still were willing to give me a chance and, and do that. And I appreciate that. It, it has helped. But like I said before, it's been months. It's been eight months since I really put time and effort into the Great Plains Baseball Report, Northwest Baseball Report, even 90 Know-It-All. I haven't done anything with it um, just because I, I didn't know if that's what I wanted to do. I have, like I said, Major League Baseball has been a negative for me. I have not enjoyed baseball when it comes to that. Now, when it comes to college ball, when it comes to high school ball, when it comes to summer league and, and Legion ball, I love that. I love that stuff. It is, it is easily my favorite part of baseball are those levels because there's a passion, there's an excitement and it just, you know, I feed off of that. I love it as, as someone who photographs the games and covers the games, you know, it's, it's been fun. Um, but at the same time, because of the college I work at, I can't go in and, and use my position to go take photos and then turn around and sell those photos. Now, the school can hire me to, to take photos, which they have done for a few games, which I appreciate. But I can't just go take photos and then sell them like I, like I have done in the past. And it was awkward for me to take photos of, of one team and post those for free, but then go cover another game the next day and try and sell those photos. It, it didn't feel right to me. It just didn't sit well with what I was doing. So my whole idea of not any know-it-all, not any photography, other things like that being a business and kind of being a, a way of bringing extra income didn't happen here. And I just, I couldn't figure out a way to do it. And so once again, that was another thing that played into me not doing anything for, for eight months. The last couple of weeks I've been, you know, really debating what to do. And I've kind of realized that if I'm going to keep the sites going, I can't do it like a business. I, I can't do it with the idea of bringing in site income. Now it doesn't mean I'm not going to try, I'm going to try, but I have to approach it as a hobby that I spend my money on. And that's one of the things I want everybody to, to realize is even just doing this podcast, I've got to pay for the software that I'm using to record it. I've got to pay for the subscription that I have to have in order to load it and have it hosted somewhere so I can share it everywhere and for it to go out to all the different streaming services. I have to pay for um, the sites that I have. I have to keep those up to date and those cost money. So I'm putting a, a, a fair amount of money into this, knowing now at this point that I'm not going to recoup that money. It's going to be money spent that I just, I spend, I, I don't get back unless something changes in the future, which it might, it might not, whatever. So I, I wanted to come out here and just kind of give you guys one, just a recap of the year. Once again, just kind of giving you guys my thoughts, the things I'm going through. And I'll be honest, it's been tough. It's been tough out here to find the motivation to go cover baseball at times and not because I don't like baseball, not because I don't like the people I've met or, or enjoyed the things I'm doing. 
it's just been a big change. I mean, I, I'm from the Northwest, born and raised, and to get up and move to North Dakota, uh, a place I had never been to before in my life, it's been a big change. It's been a difficult change, but it's been a good change. But it's, it has had its challenges. So, you know, in review, I think I'm figuring things out. I think coaches and players here are, are kind of connecting with me a little bit. And it does help that there are some players here who are from the Northwest, guys who I've known for a number of years. And now they're here and they're vouching for me, which is huge. It makes it even easier for me. You know, now when I contact coaches, you know, they're like, oh yeah, one of our players talked about you. I understand what you're doing. And so that helps out. So, so 2022, I don't want to say it was a throwaway year because I learned a lot. Um, but I think, I, I'm not sure on this one. I think this year I covered fewer games than I did in 2020. Uh, obviously, that was the year that COVID hit and everything got shut down. I think I covered 17 or 22 games that year. This year I didn't cover, man, I, I maybe covered 12, 15 games. I didn't cover any games this summer. Um, in fact, I didn't even go to a Bismarck Larks game, which is our summer collegiate ball team here that um, I've heard nothing but great things about. But I just, I just couldn't get myself to go to a game. I just couldn't motivate myself to do it. And, you know, it's it's been a challenge in a lot of ways to to stay, to stay connected with the game of baseball. Um, but things have changed the last couple of weeks. I've kind of realized that um, I'm starting to get that itch to go out and cover games again. I'm starting to get that motivation to um, get the articles going, get the things going and just really do it. And now, you know, so obviously I'm doing the podcast right now. I'm doing this episode and, and doing the year in review. And, you know, I, I want to get things going again, but I'll be honest. I don't know that how long it will keep going. Um, I may get going with it and really find my groove and enjoy it and just hit it at full speed and keep it going. And, you know, I, I may get a couple months down the road and be like, this, nothing's going right. Nothing's, nothing's connecting, nothing's clicking with me. Um, and I may stop it, but, um, you know, I, I think that things will be good, you know, spending a full year here now in North Dakota and finally feeling like this is home, finally feeling like this is where I'm supposed to be to a greater extent than before. Um, I think it's good. So, so I do want to say right off the bat to um, those individuals who have still been writing for Not Any Know-It-All, thank you very much. Even though I'm not writing for the site very much, I am reading the stuff that comes out. And there's been some amazing articles that have come out on the site. Um, and, and that's in big part to Kelly being out there, reaching out to uh, guest writers and some of our regular guest writers and, and encouraging them to write and, and inviting them to be a part of what we're doing. And so Kelly's really pushed 980 know it all and kept it going. He's really uh, made that active. I'm hoping that, you know, as Northwest Baseball Report and Great Plains Baseball Report kicks up a little bit more, that I can send a lot of that um, stuff to 980 know it all, get that going as well, keep the podcast going. So um, I'm hoping that, you know, 2023 will have a lot more um, content coming from me, um, but also at the same time, seeing those guest articles coming in left and right, I, I love seeing those things. I want to keep those going. So uh, to everyone out there who's written, once again, thank you very much. Those are fun. They've actually been in, they've been a way for me to still stay connected to the game of baseball, even though I felt like I don't want to be at times. Uh, those articles have been great. So uh, I, I love it. And Kelly's been putting out the, uh, I think the top 12 articles from the year. Um, and there's some good, really good ones. I will tell you guys, if you haven't been on the 980 Know-It-All site and gone back and read all the articles from this year, take some time this weekend, next weekend, whenever, and go read some of those. Because there's some really good What Baseball Means to Me articles. Uh, those have been they have been very, very intense, very awesome articles uh, this year. So, um, so really, guys, I, I, I just wanted to say 
all in all that this was a slow year in terms of me covering baseball. Uh, it just was. I, I didn't figure out what I want to do, how I want to do it, where I want to do it. it. It just was tough. And, you know, I've had a lot of time to really think through it and a lot of time to really um, figure out where I stand and where I want to be in the future with this. And, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I, I think I think there's something that um, I've been working on and kind of getting things figured out. And I think we're moving in the right direction. So, uh, honestly, guys, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm hoping 2023 will be a uh, a better year. I, I do. I, I think that, you know, that's the goal. That's always the hope. And um, we'll see. We'll see how things play out. And, you know, at the very least, you know, this is going on, what, year 12 of not even know it all. And it's been, it's been, a, it's been awesome. You know, it's, it's great to see all the people I've gotten to meet um, and, and interact with. And uh, it's just been a lot of fun looking back at the 12 years. So uh, with that, guys, I, I don't know if that was the best year in review podcast ever or the worst one ever, um, but it is what it is. And I just want to say thank you once again to everybody who has taken the time to, um, to write, to read the articles, to listen to the podcast. You know, it really is important and it really has been, um, it's been humbling at times to see uh, just how, how many people have invested in, in, in the sites that I've created in one way or another. And, you know, here's to 2023 and hoping that, you know, things go even better and, you know, we get the chance to really have some fun and, who knows, maybe I can even make it out to the Northwest again and cover a, an event or two uh, during the summer, you know, on vacations like that. But with that, guys, thank you for listening. Once again, I am Josh, the not any know-it-all. And there will be another podcast coming out on New Year's Day for kind of the goals for the future. And once again, we it might go great and we might keep really pushing things and or it might not. And it might go, I might not do a lot. So who knows? But uh, only time will tell. Talk to you guys later.